Hey everyone, this is Taz and welcome back to my channel. I've been wanting to get the instant precision Dutch oven for a while and finally I got hold of it. So here is the instant precision Dutch oven by the makers of Instant Pot. In this video, I'm going to review and cook in this Dutch oven and I'll share with you guys its features, benefits and potential drawbacks and help you guys decide if this is the right addition to your kitchen arsenal. So guys, let's get started. I already did the unboxing, so this Dutch oven came in a beautiful box. Let's take a look at this beautiful Dutch oven. So I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough of the different parts. Here is the beautiful cast iron cooking pot. So this is in the cooker base right now. So I'm going to take it out of the base. It's super heavy. And here is the cooker base. The heating element is inside the cooker base. Here is the control panel on the front and there's a control dial on the center and the power socket is on the back side. It's here. And here are the handles for the cooker base. The heavy duty cooking pot and the lid are made from cast iron. So that's why this is super heavy. Here is the lid and here is the cooking pot. So both these are coated with durable enamel for long life and it also looks really beautiful and has a shiny look. On the underside of the lid, it has a self-bracing grid. So this will keep the food moist. This comes with a silicone cooking pad and silicone handles. So we'll definitely need these as this uh, cast iron cooking pot will turn super hot. So we can use the silicone handles to hold on to the cooking pot like this. After cooking the cooking pot, we have to place it on this silicone pad. This is a five in one Dutch oven. So it has five cooking modes. So the five cooking modes are sear, saute, slow cook, brace manual mode so this will act as a cooking pan and here is the warm function size of this dutch oven is six quarts so it only comes in six quarts and i got blue color it also comes in other colors like red black and green i know you must be wondering why instant precision dutch oven so it has that word precision did you guys notice so that says it all so this is ideal for someone who wants precise control over the temperature and quick heating capabilities while cooking. This Dutch oven allows for accurate adjustments in temperature. So this is great for cooking enthusiasts or chefs who prioritize precise cooking condition for specific recipes like uh, slow cooking pot roast or searing or bracing a good chunk of sirloin beef. There are two key features in this Dutch oven. So number one is its precision heating technology. It's just remarkable. So we can precisely control and maintain that desired temperature. So that makes it great for slow cooking or bracing or searing meat to perfection. Number two is its rapid heating capabilities. So this Dutch oven will heat up quickly and hence cutting down cooking time significantly. This is also very user friendly and it has a great control system that makes adjusting the temperatures a breeze. One of the features I really love about this is this cooking pot. We can remove it from the cooker base and we can cook anything over stuff top or even in the oven. So this is stuff top and oven safe. So not only that, after cooking, we can serve the food in this pot itself. You can keep it on the dining table. This is going to look really beautiful. Cleanup is quite a breeze. The lid and the cooking pot both are dishwasher safe. So we can just keep it in the dishwasher. However, this is going to take up some space. This is six quarts. I love the fact the lid and the cooking pot both are made of cast iron and the cooker base. This is BPA, PFOA and PFTE free. Power consumption of this Dutch oven is 1500 watts. It also comes with a recipe booklet. So this has a few amazing recipes like a pot roast, slow cooked beef stew, Chinese style uh, braised spare ribs, Thai green curry shrimp, so many amazing recipes. Uh, so I am going to try some of these recipes. And here is the manual. 
And here is the safety, maintenance and warranty booklet. Let's take a look at the digital touchscreen control panel. Here is the control dial at the center. We just have to click on the cooking mode. So I'm going to click on sear saute. So this is selected right now. So it has a default temperature of 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So we cannot change this temperature, but we can adjust the time. So click on time, use the control dial. So we can adjust the time and click on cancel if you want to cancel it. Next, I'm going to click on brace. So it has a default temperature of 230 degrees Fahrenheit, but we can adjust the time. So click on time. So minimum one hour and we can set it to four hours maximum. Click on slow cook. So even for slow cook, it has a default temperature of 203 degrees Fahrenheit. So we can adjust the time. So three hours minimum and 12 hours maximum. There is also a manual mode. So if you have to adjust the temperature, we have to use the manual mode. Click on manual mode and there are two modes in manual mode, mode one and mode two. When you click again, it will show mode two. Again, click, it goes to mode one. Mode one, it has a default temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And we can also adjust the temperature. So click on temperature, it's 203 and minimum is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So when we click on manual mode again, it goes to mode two. So mode two default is uh, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So it has a maximum of 400 degrees Fahrenheit and minimum of uh, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Everything is clearly written on the manual. So if you go to the manual mode, you can look at the different modes, mode one, two, and also the default temperature, uh, time, and maximum, minimum time, and the temperature. I was going through the manual and I found something that will be helpful for you guys. So we can actually change the default cooking time for smart program. So it's on page four. So read through that. We can also turn off the sound. However, I would prefer the sound to be on and also the temperature scale. So you can change it to Fahrenheit or Celsius. So it's on page five. If you find any issues with the cooking programs, you can also reset the smart programs to original settings. I am incredibly excited to cook in this Dutch oven. So I'm gonna slow cook pot roast in this. So guys, let's get into cooking. For the first time before cooking, we have to wash the lid and the cooking pot with a dish soap and water. So I'm going to wash this. After washing in water, make sure to pat dry with a kitchen towel or a paper towel. So make sure there are no water at the base. So before keeping it into the cooker base. So this is all dry. Keep it in the base. First, I'm gonna add some seasonings and spices to the roast. So I have this beautiful two pounds or one kilo sirloin roast, and I'm gonna add some seasonings. So here is paprika, smoked paprika. I love this. So I'm gonna add like two teaspoon of this, two teaspoon ground allspice. So one and a half teaspoon ground cumin so it gives a nice smoky taste and flavor to the pot roast generous amount of freshly ground black pepper some dried oregano so i'm gonna add like two teaspoon and some thyme so if you have dried thyme you can add it i have fresh thyme so i'm gonna add the leaves and yes we gotta season it with salt so adding like one and a half teaspoon salt. Spread the spices and dried herbs all over the roast. You can literally add any kind of spices or seasonings, dried herbs that you would like. I'm gonna cover the bowl with a cling wrap and we have to let this marinate for at least an hour. So if you have more time, you can let this marinate for two to three hours or even overnight. So I'm gonna let this marinate for an hour. Here's the marinated beef. So first I'm going to sear this. So select sear cooking mode. Sear cooking mode has a default temperature of 400 degrees Fahrenheit. 
but we can adjust the time. I'm going to set the time to 30 minutes for now and let's click start. After we select the cooking mode and set the time, it will first preheat. So right now it's preheating so we can see the cooking progress on the control panel. The pot has turned hot so I'm going to add 2 tablespoons olive oil and place the seasoned beef roast. There is a nice searing sound. I'm going to sear this for a couple of minutes till all the sides have turned brown. The beef has seared perfectly and smells really good. So I'm going to add a few more ingredients, dried bay leaves, some garlic cloves, diced shallots and saute this for a couple of minutes. If you have brown mushrooms, you can also add that. So next I'm going to add balsamic vinegar, two to three tablespoons and a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. To this I'm going to add water or you can add beef broth. Some of the spices and seasonings are stuck to the bowl. I'm going to add that as well. Next I'm going to cancel the sear setting and I'm going to close the pot with the lid. I'm going to slow cook this so select slow cook and set the time to 4 hours so it has a default temperature so we don't have to set the temperature and click start. It's been two and a half hours so I'm going to open the lid and add carrots and potatoes so I have diced them into large chunks. It's really hot so use the handle to open the lid. Wow! You can also add some parsnips. I'm going to close the pot with the lid and let this continue to cook for another 1 hour and 30 minutes. It's been 4 hours, slow cooking is done. So right now it's in keep warm mode. So it's showing keeping warm on the display. So I'm going to open the lid. It's really hot so use the silicone handle. Ooh, wow! The pot roast looks really good so I'm going to click on cancel and I'm going to take this out of the base. So use the silicone handle, hold it like this and keep it on the protective pad. The best part is we can serve this pot roast in this cooking pot itself. So close with the lid so it will stay warm. I'm going to slice the pot roast so it has turned super moist and tender. Look at this. So this has slow cooked perfectly. And here is the flavorful gravy. So I've added carrots and potatoes and they have cooked perfectly. Look at this. If you want to thicken the gravy, you can add cornstarch slurry. I'm going to skip that. So I'm going to pour the flavorful gravy over the beef, the cooked carrots and potatoes. Here is the tender and juicy pot roast that's cooked in the instant precision Dutch oven. So this has turned awesome. I also made delicious rice pilaf in this Dutch oven in manual mode. So I'm going to show it to you guys. I placed the Dutch oven on my cooking range. So there is an exhaust. So this is ideal while saute cooking. So if the cooktop is hot or warm, please don't keep this. The base is made of some kind of plastic material. It could damage the base. It can even melt. I'm going to select manual mode. Mode 1, the maximum temperature is only 203 degrees Fahrenheit. I want higher temperature. So I'm going to go with mode 2. So the maximum temperature for this mode is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to set the temperature to 212 degrees Fahrenheit that's 100 degrees Celsius and set the time to 40 minutes and then click start preheating right now so after preheating the display will show add food so I'm gonna add one tablespoon ghee or clarified butter adding a couple of dried bay leaves and next adding frozen mixed vegetables like carrots beans peas and corn you can literally add any kind of vegetables of your choice 
I find 212 degrees Fahrenheit it's very low temperature so I'm gonna increase the temperature to 300 degrees Fahrenheit so while cooking we can adjust the time and temperature and we have to click start in manual mode we need to know at what temperature certain foods have to be cooked so for the first few times it will be quite challenging so after cooking in this for a few times you will get the hang of it 300 Fahrenheit seems to be the right temperature so right now the vegetables are starting to sizzle next adding a spice blend so this has a blend of a lot of spices like coriander powder turmeric powder ground all spice cardamom powder go ahead and add your favorite spices and seasonings i'm also adding some salt i'm gonna saute this for a minute next adding one and a half cups rinsed white basmati rice so i didn't soak the rice i just rinsed it in water mix everything well and next i'm gonna add three cups water for one and a half cups rice, we should add three cups liquid, either water or chicken or vegetable stock. So rice water ratio should be one is to two. Combine it well and next I'm gonna close with the lid. I have to change the time. So I'm gonna set the time to 15 minutes. White basmati rice only requires 15 minutes of cooking. It's based on what kind of rice you are cooking. For brown rice, we have to cook it for 35 to 40 minutes. Set the time to 15 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's see if this temperature is right for cooking white basmati rice. Four minutes of cooking, a lot of steam is coming out and the liquid is starting to dry off. Looks like 300 degrees Fahrenheit is very high temperature. So I'm going to reduce the temperature. I'm going to reduce the temperature to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and there is 10 more minutes of cooking remaining. While cooking, if you're changing the time and temperature, make sure to hit that start button. Only then it will work. 250 degrees Fahrenheit seems good right now. So while cooking, the Dutch oven will be very quiet. After total 15 minutes of cooking, I'm going to open the lid. So here is the perfectly cooked rice pilaf. Rice has turned fluffy and it's really soft. If you have cooked soups or stews or something with a lot of liquid in it, after cooking you can also keep it warm. So click on keep warm and you can set the time. Pot is hot hot so keep it on the silicone protective pad and use the silicone handle covers if you're going to keep this on the dining table. I place the Dutch oven on the dining table. Love the fact we can serve food in it. Looks beautiful. So here's my lunch that's cooked in the instant precision Dutch oven. Slow cooked pot roast and rice pilaf. Going to serve the hot and flavorful rice pilaf on a plate. Here is the tender, juicy and succulent pot roast along with carrots and potatoes. So this is truly melt in your mouth and the gravy is super flavorful. My hubs and I truly enjoyed this lunch. So not just pot roast, we can cook a variety of dishes in this Dutch oven. The sear saute function is meant to replace a skillet or saucepan. So we can use that function to stir fry vegetables and it will provide even browning for our food. The braise function is meant to brown food at a medium high temperature followed by simmering in a liquid at low temperature. If we select slow cook function, it will cook the food at a low and steady temperature. As a result, the food will taste really flavorful and it will turn tender. The manual mode or cooking pan function, we can use that for cooking rice, pasta, soup and a variety of dishes can be cooked in that function. And the warm function is meant to keep the food warm until you're ready to serve the food. I really enjoyed cooking in this Dutch oven. I mostly use this for slow cooking and for bracing. So I would highly recommend this instant precision Dutch oven. Let's look at the pros and cons of instant precision Dutch oven. So first the pros. It's very versatile and convenient and we can use different cooking methods and cook various kind of dishes in this Dutch oven. It's precise and very user friendly so we can control the temperature and time for each function and we'll get consistent and professional results every time we cook in this Dutch oven. It's durable and beautiful. So the cooking pot and the lid both are made from high quality cast iron and enamel. So after cooking, we can serve the food in the Dutch oven itself. It will look great on the table. 
another great feature about this dutch oven is that the cooking pot it's oven safe and also we can cook it over stuffed top cleaning this dutch oven is quite a breeze so both the lid and the cooking pot are dishwasher safe next let's look at the cons so this dutch oven only comes in six quarts capacity so this will cook up to six servings if you're looking for eight quarts or larger capacity it's not available i would say they should come up with a eight quart dutch oven that would be ideal for large families the second con i would say is it's expensive and heavy so it's super heavy it's around 20 pounds or 10 kilograms since it's made of cast iron and it's quite expensive compared to regular dutch oven or electric slow cooker as of november 2023 the price for this dutch oven on amazon.com that's us amazon it's 138 on canadian amazon it's 229.99 it's on sale right now for black friday deal the original price was 349.99 so that's a great deal and on instantbrand.com the price is 199.95 so it's 40 percent off original price was 229.99 the prices are subject to change so obviously the best time to buy this is during Thanksgiving and Christmas. You will find great deals. I'll post the links to buy this in the description below. Check that out. Here's my verdict. If you're someone who cooks in a Dutch oven or slow cooker quite often, this will be an ideal kitchen appliance for you. With its precise temperature and time control, you will be able to get consistent and professional results every single time. That's a wrap guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll be back with more review and cooking videos. Until then, take care everyone and bye.